that somebody who's the resident professional here at Rolls in, in Singapore, Peter Gilchrist, has made it to the final, and an Australian. Well, that's the surprise, I think, Angus, is that, um, is, that, is that it's an Australian in the final because there are an awful lot of guys from the Northern Hemisphere here that you might have expected um, might have got through. But um, uh, two very worthy finalists, two very worthy finalists. Multiple time winner of the World Professional Women's Championship. Highest ranked holder currently, 1,346. Peter Gilchrist. Traditional break, just push the red into walk and try and leave the white ball as close as possible to the um, side cushion. He usually attacks this. Well, he was playing the cannon and scooped the pot on his opponent, so immediately Steve and under pressure. Here. <laughs> yes. It didn't take long. <clears throat> In, the opening is going to be very important here. Yeah. If uh, Gilchrist gets away with a lead of 200 ish, that's going to put a lot of pressure on Steve Wilson. Super shot there, his own fluke perhaps? No. Well controlled. Getting lucky you sport the jaws and took the face off it. I'd be thinking about a stun pot to leave it in with the lot. Now has it the angle to play the half ball in off and Which leave the white for the drop cannon then? A <clears throat> on the skinny side, he just missed the red on the way down if he's playing it off the top push. Just misses the red on the way down. And now he's perfect. Yeah. Now Ingus, you were the Irish boys billions champion, is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't what, yesterday, mind you. But what, was... Why am I laughing? Well, I'm laughing because A, it's true, and B, um, honesty is good for us all in open confession. Yes, the 1971 Irish Boys <clears throat> Billiards Champion, oh. the under 16. And Fantastic. Brilliant. However, ask me how many people entered that year. How many were entered that year, Angus? Uh, one. <clears throat> one. <laughs> no, I, I entered the Boys Billiards and the Boys Snooker, and oh. at, at that time there was only four. Uh, yeah in the snooker and I got to the final and just got narrowly beaten. Um, but I did go and play representing Ireland in Actos and Pollock in Birmingham in factory there. I played against Tony Knowles and all of the guys of that of that yeah, area. But um, I must say one of the great things I love about billiards is um, having been on the Irish team at 16 and 30 years later you can get back on the team which is uh, an amazing uh, achievement I must say. There are very few sports where you could do that. Well, to those of you watching and listening, I'm delighted to welcome here to the commentary position um, Justin Lee, who's the president of Q Sports Singapore. Justin, thank you so much for being with us, and thank you very much for your sponsorship to make this tournament happen. Uh, tell Thanks us, about, and you've got these fantastic shirts organised. Tell us a bit about uh, your role in this and, and uh, the shirts and the sponsorship. I think um, the billets in Singapore needs to be developed mm. uh, better. 
both as a spectator sport and as well as a participating sport. Um, if you notice, we have uh, we have a group of young, talented um, Singaporeans participating in this tournament, and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for them to come against the the world's greatest players. I mean, yes, they have they have Peter the Small with every every year, but to have a big group mm. of uh, really uh, strong opponents, um, it's it's a little bit different. The atmosphere is a little bit different, and uh, I think one thing that that we thought we could change something in Singapore for the first time to follow like, what the pool players are doing uh, globally, which is to maybe ease up on the on the seriousness a little bit for English billiards. Yes. The, the dress code has been the traditional dicky bow, white shirt, um, the waistcoat. Uh, and I, I think it's a good idea to loosen it up while maintaining some sense of, of a costume or a uniform. I, I don't fancy people in shorts and flip-flops playing. I don't think that's the right way to go. But I, I think this casual, formal casual, I think is a good idea. I think maybe not maybe for not, not the Blue Ribbon events. Mm. The Blue Ribbon events, yeah. you still want a bit of professionalism, a little bit of sure. coral, where you retain the tradition of the sport uh, to be in line with, with, with Q Sports in general. But I think for, for precursor events like the Singapore Open, for any World Village Championship, in fact, such events could have... Um, a version of its own anywhere mm. around the world. I think as as the, the, the sport tries to, 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 to have a larger outreach, naturally people who are younger would want to say, hey, you know, I, I don't want to go and, and go to a billet uh, for a billet competition and have to dress up. It's like mm. going to work. Mm. You know, it's not that fun anymore. Sure. But I guess maybe a, a polo t-shirt could be a good, you know, a good in-between for, for, for the sport in the years to come. I think you're absolutely right. And you mentioned all of the young players playing, having an opportunity to uh, to compete against the best in the world. And I know from personal experience, it is both a bruising encounter, but it's unbelievably rewarding when you realise there are very few sports where, for example, you can't go on the soccer pitch and kick with you know, Ronaldo or Messi or whatever. You don't get to do that. Uh, whereas in billiards, you can actually play against the number one, the number two, the number three player in the world. And it's a fantastic. And also, it really invigorates you to see what can be done on the table. Yeah, for sure. I spoke to some of the Singaporeans that took part in this event, and, and I've got nothing but good things to say, nothing but good feedback from them. In the past, they, everything that they, they were to try on the billiards table has to be um, from, from own experience, from, 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 from trying and, and, and to, to make the shots that they thought they could do, mm. or they thought they understood just by watching the players play on television. But having having your opponent or having all of these top players just on the same table as you and asking for advice, it's very, very different. It's very different from them saying, hey, no, I think you are, your stroke is a bit wrong. I think you need to contact the ball a little bit more firm. It's, it's really different from saying, hey, I think this is how it's doing it on YouTube and trying to, 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 to duplicate the shot. It's very different from having the person who's actually making the shot telling you, no, I think this is where you're going wrong. This is what you should be doing. Your focus should be shifting. Brilliant. Well, Justin, thank you so much for coming in to see us and thank you for your continued sponsor. That makes a huge difference. And I know that Jason and everybody at WBL and here in the club, we're so grateful for the input that you have. And please do look favorably on us in the future because it makes a huge difference. I think I think Singapore is in a very unique situation right now. If you see where we are in Southeast Asia, we are in a, a place where, where Q Sports thrives. You know, you have pool thriving in the Philippines, you have snooker in a big way in both China and in Thailand. But where are we in billets? I think Singapore is in a very interesting place where we can influence the sport. Not only do we feel that by hosting this tournament in this region, we can increase participation, not just in Singapore. And we hope that this will be a good example for players in the region to say, hey, maybe this is something else in the, in the game of few sports that we want to take up and we want to push. And maybe Singapore is that place that we can give them the experience and the excitement to say, hey, I'm only a $200 flight out from Kuala Lumpur, or $400 flight out from Jakarta, let's give it a shot in Singapore. A great idea. And may I say from personal experience again, the, the benefit of playing billiards to somebody who plays snooker, uh, the knowledge of the angles for laying snoopers, getting out of snoopers, it really is very, very beneficial. So um, while there are different sports and different disciplines, I think the mix of the two is fantastic. So lots of people who play snooper mightn't immediately think of playing 
billiards but I can guarantee you if you have a look at the game watch it on the live stream uh, come here to the Rossa and, and play it and you'll suddenly it will develop your snooker playing skills for the better. Yeah, I completely agree. I'm a snooker player myself. Uh, this game uh, was a very big change in mindset. Uh, it was very difficult to just when you play this game for an hour and you start looking for all the half ball numbers. Yes. And suddenly you just switch back to snooker and the mindset totally shifts. But I think that's the beauty of playing billiards. That's the beauty of playing Q sports. Um, just share with you a conversation I had with, with Ronnie and, and we were saying that billiards is the kind of game that, that everyone should be playing because billiards gives you the long game, gives you the, the you mentioned the, the, the angles, how to get out of snoopers. I would say also it gives you maybe short planning for four or five steps ahead, right? So play pool will give you probably the short game where you really have to focus, you can't lose your focus on some guys going to take six racks off you. And snooker is a game where I guess everything comes together. So if every single Q Sports athlete is somehow proficient in all the versions of these games, I think you might see a complete Q Sports athlete. Well, yeah. one of the things that we're trying to work on at WPL, and I've spoken with Sean Murphy, the World Professional Super Champion, who's a good friend, mm -hmm. who is a 300 break billiard player. Mm -hmm. And what I'm trying to, my, my, if you ask me for my utopia, my dream is to have Sean Murphy and Ronnie playing in a tournament against Peter and Dave Cozier, a four-man exhibition two-day event or whatever, and perhaps maybe have a best of seven in snooker and a 500 or a thousand in billiards and cross-fertilize it and, and for people to see just the same skill set adapted for the different games. And I, I think that uh, we need a couple of big star players uh, who have huge TV coverage, who are household names. I mean, for me, one of the tragedies of, of billiards is that people like Billy Lopez, Dave Cosmo, or whatever, Mike Russell, um, are not known outside of the billiard fraternity, really. Whereas if you say John Higgins, or Stephen Henry, or Ronnie Sullivan, or Sean Murphy, everybody knows. So that would be my wish, uh, that we could increase uh, participation by seeing the big stars so, but you're you know we're so grateful to you for for coming on board I mean, I'm, I'm really happy that world billiards has um, accepted um, and chosen Singapore to host this this uh, variant of the version this year's event um, we hope that you come back again and we will definitely do our best to see how we can uh, make your event work and to accommodate you for the rest of the future and hopefully your event uh, hopes comes true that you could have Ronnie face the guy. Wouldn't it be brilliant? You could have seen uh, what have, what Judd Trump did for the nine ball. Absolutely. And that that's a good example of how maybe all of the events come together and maybe just have a games of your own. That could be something that you could look forward to. Justin Lee, President of Q Sports Singapore, thank you so much for coming to us. Thank you. Well, that was fascinating, Angus. He's, uh, he's a new convert. So Peter um, has just been dominant here. Just the start that Steve Mifsud was fearing was that Peter's uh, maybe excess of 150, 162 now, sorry. And, uh, in the short format against the Roman world champion, it's going to be hard to play that. A bit too early to declare it game over. Oh, much too early. <laughs> Ten minutes in, but, but you'd have to say Peter looks to be in awesome form. He does have a most beautiful touch. Don't, he really does. And, um, I'm six foot three and I have real difficulty being able to bend down over the queue. I, I cannot get my chin on the queue well, and Peter's even taller than I am and yet yeah. he manages so beautifully to uh, get his body down. I know he has had back problems in he the past. Has, and when you look at him and you get a good side of the shot here, he, he arches his back, his, his hips are higher than the table, but he manages to get all the way down. That has led to a lot of back problems over the years for Peter and oftentimes how he's playing will be a function of how his back is feeling. Having said that, he never complains about it. I've seen him wearing a back brace and on occasions being barely able to stand up and walk. Um, but it, 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 
He never uses that as an excuse. I love that shot Peter's just played where mm. having shifted the white away from the uh, billiard spot, you then recover it and put it right behind again for yes. a choice of either gently cannoning it towards the lock-in position of the postman's knock or else playing the floating white where you just pick it mm. from behind, move it up and then send it back to the spot over a series of shots. White's getting a little close to the uh, top cushion. I don't think he'll be able to get directly underneath it, so he's recovering the shot. Might need to kick it a bit sideways. Oh, Ooh, must have go. taken his eye off the ball, but a break of 190 there for, for Peter. Now, this is really important for Steve. If this he's to assert really himself, this, this first visit, mm -hmm. or this, this particular visit, Peter. Well, the breaks here have been very short, of course. There's only 30 minutes between those 90 minute matches. Mm. So Steve's been on the table. Both been on the table pretty solidly for the last six hours. Uh, and that could count in Steve's favour here. He's only been too cold during a two hour layoff. I noticed he puffed his cheeks there just before he took the shot, yes. realising the enormity of what he's about <laughs> yeah, to do. <laughs> no! <laughs> Save me. As we so often say, it is so important to maintain control of the cue ball and the object ball. To now, what a gorgeous shot that was to actually screw off to get to the far side of the net. It wasn't perfect. Yellow's gone a bit too far, but even to conceive of that shot. A lot of right hand side and swing over towards the yellow. It's like a little bit of insurance. Yes. Five shot. If he's dead straight, he may screw back. He's got a little angle here. So does he play a cannon here or the red pop? Well, it, it, certainly Dave Cosier would always take the in off yellow yes. and get it back to a better position. Yeah. Used to be a drop cannon position. Bit of a lot to as to what's going to happen after this, but we'll find out shortly. Well, if he plays it correctly, he'll get a three quarter ball contact on the red, send it off the court. Now he went full ball on the red there, so he didn't get it sending it towards mm. the pocket. But a couple of little, maybe the, the two cannon push through will work here. Pick off the yellow and skinny off the red and end up facing the right way. The fur is around the top of the shot. A signature shot. No, push through. Now I think we're going to see the uh, the shot that we call the myth. Yes, it's quite close to the red, so to speak. It's it's going for right, the in the middle. Obviously, great respect for the, uh, the difficulty of the pot had he taken it on. Now he doesn't yeah. want the yellow too close to the cushion, or you know, a, a tough one here. It's got a tough one. Gonna have to screw off the yellow across the red, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, I, I, a lot of play, players would spot it, but say on the green spot, and screw it across because that brings it around the angles. A little bounce would be nice. Well, now we should be able to reset the yellow 
behind the billiard spot and just make a cannon onto the red and have a choice of popping or not to you may have to work the red for a, a few yeah, shots. A couple of shots ago we saw Steve but not to take on a flat along the way. Um, that's a pretty wise decision on these tables. That's a pretty wise decision. We'll see Neil Robertson being nervous about taking a lot, taking on a paddle on the rail and pro snooker. Even, even Ronnie's fearful of that. Um, they do drop and they do, they don't roll out. The, the pockets play true. But even even a millimetre off the cushion, you will miss the shot two millimetres off your death ones. Interesting, you just have to take the, the pot yellow there. And now. Double book. No? Single book. Yeah. So will Peter attack this or will he just push both balls to the side I think Peter's an aggressive. Mode. I think he's in that mood. I think so he's, he's ball, feeling he's ball, feeling your ball pushing thing. cannon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven
one of our, our great personalities in uh, world billiards and uh, we are blessed to have him lending his insights to, to the beautiful game and acting as the director of world billiards as well. So we are, we are doubly blessed. Well in Ireland for about 25 years I did the TV commentary for the Irish Masters Snooker Tournament. So yes, yes, um, and, and, and and you also ran like a top of the pop show, didn't you? Indeed, yes, yeah, uh, that's a, right. So a variety of them. So it's lovely to. Um, I, I've been meeting up recently. I did a number of exhibitions with Ken Doherty, with uh, uh, Stephen Hendry, uh, with Dennis Taylor, John Virgo, uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Um, so I'm I'm just loving reconnecting with the lads because you know. We haven't had the Irish Masters yes. for a good number of years now, and, and actually, it was um, when the it used to be sponsored by Benson Hedgesburg Tobacco Company, and, and, were, and they yeah. were, and then when the tobacco sponsorship was precluded you from having tournaments, uh, the Department of Health in Ireland uh, sponsored it for three years, but then there was no sponsor available, and that was the beginning of the. The Chinese uh, events that were held, mm. and we kind of lost it in the calendar, so it hasn't been that back. But I think um, all of the players were talking about this wonderful auditorium, just about twenty miles from Dublin, called Goffs. It was a, a show ring for horse sales, mm. uh, a, a completely round amphitheatre, mm. uh, perfect on three levels. So everybody was really right in the crowd. So yeah, the atmosphere was unbelievable. And if you ask any of the players, they they tell you how much. They love golf. Yeah, While we've been talking there, both, both Peter and Steve have missed. Um, that would be a cardinal error now at, at this level mm. in the game. Mm. Uh, the foundation of the the billiard game is a lot of half ball in us, um, and to miss those now, we could say is virtually inexcusable at this level. It just shows you. Fallibility of uh, well, it shows you really how hard this game is. This is such a hard game, and and for our, our first time and new viewers, um, these guys are making it look deceptively easy. It's not. So we've got a question here, where is Pangal Jadvani and Saurav Patari? Uh, can't be called the best player in the world unless you beat them. I think that's that's very true. Um, however, you would need to talk uh, to the Asian Confederation of Billiard Sports about why they are not permitting those players to attend this event. Uh, both of those players, and indeed a lot more from uh, Asian countries, uh, had actually entered, uh, but then were forced by the Confederation to withdraw their entries. We, we think that's a great pity because we agree they are truly great players, and I think, uh, I think these table conditions would have absolutely suited Sora and Pankaj, where there was a premium, there's a premium here on these slip tables for pace control and accuracy, and both of those guys, but many more of the Indian players, so Dorf Sitwala and many others, um, are, are tremendously accurate and would have been certainly in the in the uh, in the final stages of this event and the event to follow the World Billiards Championship. Suffice to say, we are at an absolute loss as to how any governing body would say to members that they were not to attend the World Championships. It makes no sense. Well, that's whatsoever. right. These, these guys live to play the game, and it's it's effectively a restraint of trade. I don't know whether you have those mm -hmm. issues in Australia, but in in Ireland, but uh, certainly in Australia. 
people are allowed to make their living doing what they do, but for reasons which are not clear to us, that's not the case. Hello, John Twist from Witness, Cheshire. And just for the record, World Billiards has written on several occasions to all of those bodies who have told their players not to play, asking for a response, and there has been a deafening silence, so maybe I'm received. So now, having double balked Peter, chance for Steve to get in. Mm. Has to get the red out of Bob to continue the break. Wants to leave it as close to the balk line as possible so that he can rescue the or move the yellow to leave it to an in off position, perhaps. Just uh, following up on Shira Patel's question, David, cause you should have played IBSF, IBSF championship last month as a gesture of goodwill. Um, he may or may not have been able to do that because the UK, I'm not sure whether they are now respondent to the IBSF. Um, Australia, I know, has, has withdrawn from that organisation, our Australian body has, as has the New Zealand body, as have many of the European bodies. So um, if you are not a member country of the IBSF, you can't play. So there is a re this is an open event. Anybody can play this event, professionals, amateurs, regardless of your nationality, your gender, uh, your religion, uh, you, this is an open event. Uh, IBSF events are based on uh, national memberships. Surprising miss from Steve, and if he's to have any chance in this final, he really needs to capitalise on those. I mean, there perhaps that's nerves, perhaps it's just being not match fit or whatever on on these uh, tables with the Steve blocked well, and I, the heated. I there's another factor, and, and that is that the, the, this has been virtually continuous billions for the last uh, six hours to seven hours. Uh, half hour breaks only between the matches, ninety minute matches. Um, <laughs> It's, it's mentally exhausting and physically demanding. Mm. Wow. Mistakes from both players, and it's a question of who can capitalise. I've said it already, but let's say it again. This is really important for Steve <laughs> to get in now. It's really important. Look how true that table's running. Steve's played that a dead weight, pocket weight, confident that the shot would not move off. There's very little movement on the app here. Um, the cue ball doesn't move back on the cloth, so if you're playing things like long jennies, it holds a straight line to the pocket, doesn't curl into the pocket, as on the heavier net table. So the, the, the plus and the minus of that is that you don't get perhaps the wider ball movement mm. on the cloth, but the, the plus is that you can very confidently play these slower shots on the diagonal of the net and know that the, that the point that you're aiming at is for it, where the ball is going to get to. So he's intentionally played that. Now that's shot that you, you might not even attempt on some of the warm club tables that uh, we Sydney players are used to playing on. Well, I refereed his match against Dave Corsier and he had a beautiful uh, 160 something, I think, uh, and his pace of play and his touch at top was really delightful. So I think he really needs to get these properly to top yes. and then get his confidence up because he's struggling a little bit. He is. And, you know, you'll get two or three chances from Peter or Dave or Rob. If you don't take That's them, all. then, yeah. you know, you want yourself to blame. But, Peter, I'm going to take my leave of you. And Jason Coburn, lovely to see you, Angus. The commentary position. Thank you very much, Peter Tankert. From Angus McAnally, I'll hand you over to Jason.
interesting comment in the Facebook comments. Where is Pankaj and Advani and Sarah Kasari? Well, they withdrew. You can only beat the people who turn up. Yes. We're joined again by the boss himself, Jason Oliver, head of World Billiards, and in his part time endeavours, also manages to run the greatest snooker academy in the world. Yes, we did. We did actually cover that. So, um, Jace, I don't know if there's anything you wanted to, mm -hmm. wanted to add about um, about that situation, but uh, I did explain that uh, those players had entered and were asked by their regional body to withdraw for reasons that haven't been made entirely clear to anybody else. Yes, it's a great shame that um, some of the good players were prevented from playing. Yeah. I rather fancy that uh, we might have been watching a, a Panko Sorov on a two great players. And there are so many more. So did you actually have entries from other Asian nations as well? Uh, me and Mar were going to send three players. We did pork stuff? Yes. Fantastic. And we had uh, we were in contact with both Vietnam and Indonesia and just at the point where they needed to say yes or no to whether they were coming was when the uh, somebody decided that not to let them play. Still not clear who was going to stop them from playing because there'd been no statements. Or indeed why. Yeah. But anyway, let's hope all that gets resolved. <laughs> Nick Boyne's <laughs> correct too. Some players were uh, banned from playing because of their wives. <laughs> that happened regularly. <laughs> But uh, some of the players here, Mick, brought their wives. Yes. Let's uh, bring your wife to a uh, you know, tropical Asian destination and you get to play billiards. Well, Chris Taylor brought his daughter. Yes. Uh, the, the lovely Lauren, who's sat there faithfully and watched Dad pot uh, billiard <laughs> balls for a couple of days. Well, Steve's on a little break here. He needs it. This is one of those tricky positions to recover the yellow. Very in tricky. In fact, in the, um, the little video that Peter did uh, during the... Uh, the was that Ask the Champ? Ask the Champ. Yeah, this was yeah. one of the places where we discussed what's the best way to recover that ball. Yeah. If, if you play this drop cannon as a ball, it's very hard to get a good lead. Yeah. You just, you'd really want the red uh, towards the top end of the table closer to the side cushion than the yellow and play the drop cannon. Yes, and that's getting the, it there. That's right. Dangerous. Very dangerous. So let's see how he goes. Okay, he's having a little lash at it now, but I don't think this is going to move it much, is it? Maybe enough? He's probably not. Well, look, these run-throughs with side, they're tough on these tables. Yes. I can't they don't, tell they don't how close he is to a half ball on the red. Yeah, and you get the throw. Um, Yep. Even if you're playing very thick run through, you still get that initial throw. Yes. You've got it a bit thicker. So okay. he's going to play the sort of swerve. Oh no, screw back. Very nice. Ready? Oh, this is nice now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, How good is that? That suddenly this is looking good. Should be able to get this yellow under drop cannon position, no problem. And he did. That's about perfect as far as drop cannons go. These balls are going to be very close when they finish up. The dangers are covered when they're this close, but uh, this is a position where the yellow will come all the way right back around to the spot. This fans is very surprised to see that DC only made the last 16. Yes, we were all surprised. We were. The, uh... A 90 minute match, he only made 250 breaks and Steve knocked in a 160 and a 130. The 160 came at a crucial stage in the match with about 25 or 24 minutes to go. Well, so just a little smother. Bricks of the safety. 
don't know what it, whether it will go. See a mess here? Tap, 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 tap. I think no. he, he may have a go up and down. I think he's probably in an attacking mode. He is in attacking mode. He's attacked everything so far. He's got sort of two or three chances bringing the cue ball down on that end. Oh, it's a long way away. He's a smart player, Peter. He's, he's probably known that he's moving the white ball along the rail. Mm. There's a, an element of safety. So you he knew he'd have a... Yeah. There's quite a number of shots when I've discussed with him why did you do that way? He said, oh, well, uh, if I miss it, it's not too bad. There's, you know, see, Steve seems to be just hanging in there. I mean, there's really only 70 in the difference. Yes, it's and really it looked like a lot more than that oh, in terms of the standard play. Peter lucky there. And he's let Peter in here. Cruiser Mick. Hello Cruiser Mick, how are you? Got plenty of Australians watching, so Steve's not lacking support. They're all from New South Wales. Where are your Victorians? Perhaps when we posted the uh, streaming times yesterday, we quoted the Australian streaming time as Sydney. Perhaps Melbourne didn't realise that they could access it as well. <laughs> I shouldn't say that being a Victorian. <laughs> But you are right. John Squires, no, there's no clock on the screen on this um, particular setup we have here. It's too hard to sync the clock with the match clock. I think we probably started about five minutes late on the hour. So it gives yeah. you a bit of an idea how long we've been so running. So we've been running 40, 40 minutes so far. And approaching the halfway point. It's a bit of a sense that if somebody can knock in 200 here, that could be enough. Someone to hit that a little bit, unless he wants to run down to cut this red back in and take his cue ball down to the recover the white. White. He's or is playing he that, he's playing the scene off a little bit. Well, if you can get the, get the red over the middle pocket, you can put his cue ball just to yeah. anywhere. You know, he's probably in no hurry to recover that white. It is easier to recover it from pots off the spot than from anywhere else. Yes. Unless he brings it right up next to the ball point. But now These I can... are missable. These are missable on this table. Absolutely. Here you go the pot, here you go the Jenny. I suspect the Jenny's tough. The pot's tough. The pot's extra tough if you try and screw back to leaving in a flight. Yep. He's looked at the Jenny, he's looked at the pot. He can't really do much with this, can he? These are ultra tight pots, ultra tight. Yeah, tough shot. Yeah, tough shot. Yes. For those of you watching, whatever is the tightest table you've ever played on, this is this is tighter. This is a star table, just the same as they use on the World Professional Snooker Tour. Now, having said that, Jason, uh, it's only two months ago that Ronnie knocked in a 147 on this Correct. very table yes. uh, against uh, Mink, Mitra, and one hanger, hanger type. And you were on the scoreboard. Uh, yes, I was on the scoreboard. First one four seven you've seen. Yes, first Why? yeah, first Why? one four seven like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah. Hello, Henry Chakuti is supporting Steve. Member of the uh, Yarrabool Club, Bridget and Snooker Club, and uh, absolutely great supporter and of Australian. the sport. Referee, and... player. And craftsman extraordinaire, he's uh, created a special gift for us for our exhibition in Sydney. Where he's created a uh, Peter Gilchrist photo board. We've got a bit of a screen freeze here just for the moment. Just bear with us for a moment. Oh, they've taken a break. Oh. Oh, the players have taken a quick break. <laughs> so it's not a screen freeze at all. It's us. Oh. <laughs> well, 
it's unusual in a 90 minute break it, it is minute but match. they've they've had very but, very few breaks yes that's but this is the fourth 90 minute match today yeah so and it might be why they're both a little bit scratchy because it's well it's, a long day. Earlier, it's it, it is and the, and the breaks are short um at best you might cram in a, some food and a drink and a quick toilet break but then you're back on again and there's a bit of a, a factor in some games where you you can play a match that's potentially your final before the final. Correct. And Steve had that with Dave Corsia, his last 16 match. He would have Correct. expended a lot of mental energy on that match. And Peter's semi-final with uh, Peter Gilchrist's semi-final with Peter, Peter Sheehan. Sheehan. That's a very uh, crucial match for him because Peter yep. Sheehan has played well. Sometimes well, Peter you Sheehan has beaten him twice this year. Really, uh, you know, bend your mental energy. Mm. Okay, well, Steve's back. So about a hundred the difference. One of those shots you can't really control. But as good a drop as you probably get on the red. This looks narrow. And O'Neill is posted. He's actually in Singapore in these events. Yes, he's played with him. Yeah. Uh, the IBSF event is finished. Pankaj could have played here. Hello, uh, Bruce, also from Australia. I'm never sure where Bruce is living. He was in Melbourne for a while and he was back in Brisbane. I'm not sure where he is now. Brad Williams, good day, Brad. Well, we are sure he's got a glass of wine in his hand. <laughs> Alex Don, watching from Wales. Good day, Alex. Pity you couldn't be here. Regular player in the events in England and a billiards coach. Don't hit the yellow. He's got this red in perfect position to leave it wherever he wants, really. He wants. He's leaving the pocket. Is he going to try and eventually bring it around to the middle top of the pot? Get close to the block line for a cannon to recover that yellow. So after this, he can get it absolutely anywhere he wants. I would have thought Steve, though, is um, tends to prefer coming down for more pots and then making position with the yin off, yeah. off the pot, off the spot. Although he may be just perfect where he is there. He's run a bit far for the red. Mm. Luke Bruce is playing at the RECB club, home of the previous world championship. Yes, I, I played Bruce. I met Bruce at the RECB 12 months ago, oh, not 12 months ago, six or seven months ago. I had a good hit there. It was very enjoyable. Lovely man. He's going to finish pretty close to that side rail, unless he gets lucky over that middle pocket. Oh, that's nice. Is it? Uh, I think. Is it? He's got to just sneak in off it very thin yeah. or run through it. He did miss one of these earlier today, but oh, so, this well, doesn't look too early, bad. This one earlier, which oh, if you were walking in, you missed a yeah, He really wants a nice result from a drop cannon here. Get him that's started. Good. That's good, that's good. Whittle down the difference he to has. 69. He's in it. These are the sort of pots that are missed on this table. They are. Doesn't look that hard, but it's just so easy to miss it. Yep. As I say, these are impossible type pockets. There we go. 
Or potatoes, curries. Let's make it with words. Oh, well, there you go. And you would never see Steve miss, miss a pot like that on a table in Australia. No. You'd never see him miss it. It, would never, it wouldn't happen. You can roll the ball along the top rail a couple of millimetres out and it will go in. Yeah. But if it touches the top rail, it will not go in. Yeah. So Peter has done what most players do on the pit table that leads. Let's just leave that pot along the rail and run through. Run through, run through, run through the so make it a big pot. It's a pretty routine cannon. He's just got to make sure he adjusts for the slide off the top cushion. Or he's just slid behind it. That's two, two commentators' curses in a row there, I should say. But you've got it, no, you've got it right. <laughs> the commentators' curses that you say it and get it yeah. wrong, you got it right both times. This is tricky. When in doubt, hit it hard. Avoid the double kiss by hitting it fast and thin like that. Yes. It's not too bad if he can just roll that red in, leave himself a little cannon. Still very Has much in the, the balance, uh, this. He's got a nice angle on the red. So it's another chance for Steve to put a bit of pressure on. Yes, he's had a, he's had a few goes. More goes than Peter's offered anybody else, put it that way. It's a little bit hard on that one. Now these are tricky as well. It's an enclosed pocket. Too bad. Probably play this red cushion yellow. You get a nicer red than playing it direct. So we're joined by our one of the pool players for a second. Oh, let's slip behind too. Roy the rocket. Uh, now, this is a game you might not have seen, Roy. It's actually called English Billiards. <coughs> you should give it a go sometime. You might be quite good at it. Oh, no, Steve will be disappointed with that miss. Yes. Do you think we'll see a 500 break on these tables? This no, I don't. Case? No, do I. I don't think we'll see a 400 tables. No, of all climb crossings, I think. Yeah. yeah. Going on these tables, going well to get into the 300s. Yeah. Well, nobody has two days. Before. No, that's right. Without the ball climb crossing. Without the ball climb crossing. The, the regulation book line crossing is tough on these tables. So, shot they play off five cushions, running side off the first three that turns into check off the last two, it comes down very close to the corner pocket. It's just with the slide on the cushions and the, mm. the top spin arc the wall takes. As did in Melbourne, complaining about yes. something didn't Peter, take up the uh, The other day when we were having a practice, we just decided to play that uh, off three cushions. The, no. around the table not to bring it's it up the last two cushions. No, you're just uh, running side top spin, but not to bring it all the way around. You just have it come back down. Oh, that's like a sore out shot where he leaves it halfway down and just has yeah. is on the right yeah. side of the table. Correct, yeah. But, but five feet away. Yeah. I think it just nudged that right yeah, as well. Like not quite right yeah. through top. We still have to pop the red again or Screw it, screw it around behind the white. Doesn't have a lot of angle to do that. Just oh, he's left really him the enough white for yeah. the uh, set up the drop cannon again. The drop cans haven't really been turning out nice just yet. Not for either of them. 
Mostly they've been over hit. Red's just slipped away. There's another one. There's another one. He may have a chasing canopy where he red yeah. pushes the white towards the corner and he chases it. Yeah, I think that's that's because I don't think the cannon off the top cushion cushion first is on. Or it's on but very tough. Yeah, I think it could be just The other thing you can play the run through the red with side and you may get the cannon as yeah. well. Or instead. But it, it it looks like that white's gonna go towards the jewel, so if it can top spin his yellow mm. towards the jewels every chance of colliding with it with the reds questionable I think that's what he's playing doesn't like <laughs> no he doesn't like any of this may be concerned that he's actually going to lose the white if he plays this shot yes well, th th this might be the case where the Tight pockets come to, yeah. to your aid. I really like running through the red with side. Yeah. Throwing the in off and maybe you get mm. the cannon. Yeah. It's not an easy shot, but there are no easy shots. No. Is this a screw screwing in off? off? Yeah, screwing off. It still lose the light. Gee, we're getting these calls pretty good, yeah. aren't we? Right, oh, that's a lovely screw in off. Yeah. I think we, I think we, I was right that he, he pretty much felt he was going to pop that Lose one. the white, yeah. So he was looking for anything else he could do and he just couldn't find anything else. No, no. See how his safety is here. So one, one ball and ball, red ball only and ball? No, that's the one where you play three quarter ball top spin. Oh, on this the is, red. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just have to miss the double kiss is the tricky part. The ball, you're very close to double kissing. He'd be happy with that. I mean, he hasn't got an easy shot, but at no. least he's got both balls in play. Well, Steve can't attack this. Let's see what you could do, Pierre. So this is not easy at this end of the table. You can't sure roll this. So a lot of the you know, lesser players would just roll this white down the side cushion, but it leaves a half ball in, can it? Yeah. Well, you're, you're, you're the middle ball here in a safety exchange. Mm. You don't want to be the middle ball in the safety exchange. bit very casually, Steve, I think, because he wasn't that excited about that break opportunity. <laughs> no, the red. Let's see what Peter can create out of this. He really does have to be pretty hard to get that it's red back into touch. play. It's a little bit too hard. Two cushion cannon. Actually safe. Good judge. You may have even had a bit of a go at the top there and back up safely. Hard to tell. Steve's doing a lot of blowing out of the cheeks, isn't he? Oh, he's had a go. Had a mesh. Good enough of this Has he got around. away with it? He's kind of got away with it. He might play the screw in off the red there side. Yes. Not in a final. No. Not in a final. The guy not on these tanks. Yeah. Not in the guy that not against the guy that you suspect might be able to outfight you. Oh well, this is interesting. Steve yeah. probably has an enough yellow in the middle, not easy. To get the cannon he would have to hit this red very thin with a ton of left hand side. 
That was the day we out of wool, so we'll be happy with yeah, this. Yeah, you're right. Our red's yeah. a big target. Yep. But these are the ones that there's room around the back, that's where you go. Yes, exactly. But it doesn't look like there's much room around the back. It looks like you're spotting that wide to me. That's Lovely. Right. Beautiful. Okay, yet another, another chance. Another yes. Found the yet another difference. Chance. I think, uh, Jason, at the beginning of the day, that you would have had, if you talked to a bookmaker and said, I'm betting that there'll be no Englishmen in the finals, you would have got very, very long odds with Yes, you would have. And there's a ton of them here, and they're all pretty good. This is nice. Move yellow. I think he's all right for the behind cannon. It's a lot of side. Got to advance that red enough mm. past the yellow. Yeah, he didn't. yeah, no, he's just happy to gather them rather than throwing really crunch at the side. That's this where he plays his signature. Oh, no. no, I think he'll just flick across a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the times, times players um, try and develop these balls too fast. Yes. The good players just flick across them a few times until they yeah, sit yeah. nice. Called no, tap tap happen. slip through. Yep. What you did there. Very nice. You just tap across them until they open up a little over a ball and then slip through the gap. Usually no more than three counts required. Christian Kirk is watching, he's wondering how much time left. You think you're 30 we minutes? Can't see it. Yeah, about 30 minutes. Pity you couldn't be here, Christian. Darren Clark, John Marwood and Chris Poom are watching from the bar downstairs. With about 20 or so locals watching. Is that this match online? got about... 30 minutes to go. We'll have a pint of Sapporo in 40 minutes, please, guys. Oh, he's lucky. He's got a touching ball there. Very, very lucky. Peter's going to have a look because this is crucial. Very keen to find a gap. No, he's conceded. Referee Stefan Ng doing a great job. They don't play a lot of billiards in Singapore and they don't play time. They play 100 up format. So this is a bit of a new experience for some of the referees and they've really worked hard at um, getting some time in and getting familiar with the format and the, the rules. Very much hoping that this will be the uh, start of a bit of rejuvenation visits in Singapore. Numbers have been increasing in recent years in the national championship. Not quite enough players yet to get a league going, but we're hopeful. Bridging over the ball, he's got a little bit of room to queue. Fortunately, we've got a good view. Uh, Stefan's kindly moved out of the way. So the difference is now under 60. This could get interesting. careful on this one. Can play the cannon if he doesn't like the pot. Play both. Oh, 
sim slow enough will leave him in the yellow in a nice position. Very nice, straight in the middle. Not falling off from hand. Just doesn't want to bring this yellow up to centre of the table. He'd really love to bring it up for a, a uh, rock cannon, but it's a bit tricky. Now that's running just into that danger zone. That's now sitting in that for what we call the pair of trousers, or they used to call the pair of trousers shot. Play if you catch this wrong, you lose both balls. I mean, you get your ball back, but the yellow goes in. Should be alright. Just. So 27 minutes, 35 seconds left. There was a toilet break, so if you didn't catch that, the official match clock is now 27-26. So we've got a match on. Cannon off the top cushion. You can play these as a bit of a gather in front of you, just like he's done there. I think that's the way to play it. Some players think you should play to glance the red, but that's too tough. It is tough. Just gather them in front of you. I think he's played the what we call the Steve Mesh there. Yeah, the mid. He's played to leave the screw back cannon and bring the red yeah. screw ball and back down this end. <laughs> he's usually a very good judge of pace in that shot. Yellow's finished up, uh, a bit ugly for him. Yes, he's a very good judge person. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. He could uh, nestle onto the top rail here and leave Cam coming back. Mm, got to the cannon early. He would have liked to have drawn that red and it's just yeah. um, slid away from him. Now only about 30 odd points in this match. This was the stage in the match against um, Dave Corsier that he made his 160 break. Really? Yeah, close, course close, and about 25 minutes to go. Well, he. This is not quite right. Mm. Very, well, almost impossible playing this stick with check side. Easy to miss red cushion yellow, but that's probably the shot to play. What's he playing? Or does he play the pop red? He's playing red cushion yellow. Lovely. Oh, that's incredible shot. Nice, nice weight. I think the yellow was a quite a big ball. It was off the cushion just mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. Just the same, and he's had to play it super skinny. I think he wants to pop this red and leave himself a gathering cannon. Yellow, red, yellow off the side cushion, back behind the spot. Chance to get them to top in two. Hurry, hurry, hurry. This is not too bad. He could gather them here. Not be right. <coughs> Just yeah. underhit it slightly, but it's not too bad. It's on his good side, he's a right hander. I've seen more emotion on Steve Nifsett's face than I've seen in years. Yes, I commented in an earlier match how you normally can't tell no. Steve. Very young. Um, he actually prides himself on that, that he doesn't yeah. show much emotion. I mean, he's blowing out his cheeks, he yeah. wry smiles, it's more than I've seen in decades. He must have been to acting classes or something. <laughs> To set up drop cannon. Again, 70 again, now, he's been just, just quietly grinding away in this break without really yeah. having great position. But no. now he's on 70. He's been scratching around really the whole match. Another drop cannon. Yeah. What, what Mac Rinkowitz describes as a plague of drop cannons. He thinks of the. <laughs> 
Seven. There are far too many drop cannons in the game as far as Max can. Now this is not bad. He can pop that red. Yes. This is actually pretty good. Uh, it's a bit hard to tell whether the... Okay. I don't think he's blocked. He doesn't think so either. Hello? Off the cushion, left a very nice red. This is definitely a big chance for Steve here to take the lead and establish a bit of a lead. Like a little bit less angle on the red, I think. To either play this thin or thick, it's not, it's not going to be nice. Bit lucky not to have the smother there. It's a bit straight here. Let me have an angle that just screw back gently, or we may have to go into the cushion. Oh, that's it. Just that's gentle. Pull at the stun back. Yep. Where you just want a little bit more angle than the screw back's going to give you. Yep. Get your cue ball below centre, but not very much below centre. That's a nice That's shot. Good. Hit the front for the first time. And looking dangerous. That's the 100 break. That's the first time he's been in front of the whole yeah. match. We possibly should have tried to avoid having two Australians in the comments. We should have avoided this that point. <laughs> we should have avoided that. But it's you're just, a Singaporean now, it's so... the way it's worked out with yeah, everybody yeah. else's availability, that it's you and me. <laughs> That's right. slow but it's yes. just a slightly more angle than he wanted. I think he's looking at a screw cannon. Yep. Oh that's gone ugly. That would just went ugly quickly. Yeah. Love to have the thin cannon on here but it's just not. No. no he's, he's got to push the yellow away now from top. Really looking hard. He'd really like to have a thin cannon. He's looking again. Maybe he does. He oh, does. Oh, geez, that was oh, now he really is in good shape. Yes. Peter will be feeling a little bit uncomfortable now. He will be. Suddenly he's 20 behind and Steve's at the top. Yep. And uh, I mean they've both had more chances. They've offered often more chances in this match than they've offered any of their previous opponents. So it's this is now perfect. This would be a big win for Steve. This would be the biggest win yeah. of his billiards career as a world ranking uh, event. Yep. World ranking billiards event would a good quality world class field. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Does that come back enough? I think so. Yeah, it that's has. okay. It has. Picky little angle on this. Punches it through. The nice angle for the uh, cannon Recovery, off the clock yeah. Yeah. Oh, Red's, hasn't, red hasn't come enough. Red has to go in off the red and push yeah. it up over the middle. 
fourth in Canada for the other. So it's a little bit wide, probably just took the running side. Yeah, didn't take any risks with it, put a little bit, bit of pace in there, but it's a confident potter. One pot and it's back at top. It is now 40. Oh, oh dear. Baby. Oh. How oh, easy to miss those ones. It is so easy to miss on these tables. Well, it's exactly when you want to run around. your cue ball down the other end. Yeah. If you're just you're rolling that red in dip yep. pace, not so bad. But Now, Peter will play a run through here, will he? Yeah. Yeah. And that's pretty nice. Yep, that's experience right there. Not attempting the pop down the run. That's very nice. Beautiful pace control. Didn't drop. want the five shot there. A little thin cannon across the edge of them. Oh, that's not right. We're going to have to play no, a through cannon, okay. I think. Yeah. We'd like to return cannon red to white. He yeah, got a little bit much of a red, red, didn't he? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> can he fit a ball underneath there? I think he can, in which case he'll play running side, pushing white red. Nice yeah. Yeah. Little screw up onto the white off the red. Push the red out of the bag. Yeah. That's years of experience right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Kristen Kirk, you were asking how much time is left. 16 minutes, 24 seconds. We're now synchronised to the match clock. Unfortunately, we can't show it on the screen. <coughs> Well, it looks like a fantastic venue, says Christian. It's the finest snooker club in the world. Peter coming back now. 15 minutes left. It's virtually be, yeah. neck and neck. And this one of these guys, you know, uh, hogs the table for the rest of the, like another 10 yep. minutes or so, this is going to be a close finish. Yeah. Great match. Perhaps not the best quality we've seen. Peter's not been three 200-ish breaks, 253 being the best. But, but not uh, in this match. No, not in this he, match. They've knocked in 140 something, 30 yep. something. But, uh, no, I was saying this match is, is perhaps not the best Mm. It's certainly a dogfight, and in many ways that's more fun to watch. These lopsided timed battles. What's he playing? Wow, that was brave. I don't know whether he was playing the backup cannon or... Well, I don't know either. If he wasn't, he was incredibly brave. He's got two half balls. Three if you count the half ball cannon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what he's playing. I thought he'd play the well, I think, Yunos. Yeah, well, I think, I think match is close. Mm. That was the easier shot. It had a leave, not a perfect leave, but it had a leave. I think regardless of the outcome here, this will give Steve a lot of confidence in the World Championship. Oh, yeah. oh. I think Steve was probably quite disappointed with his result in the uh, 2019 
World Championship in Melbourne, but he, he, he lost to Robbie Tolbari. He lost to Robbie Tolbari, and that just. Yeah. And Ro Robbie, I think, played The Rock on Steve yeah, in did. that match. Robbie was great. Yeah. <laughs> in a way that only Robbie can be. Yeah. My former coach. Yeah, I'll climb the mountain, but if you get to the summit against Robbie. Hmm. That was the danger there. Well, that's worked out okay. That's no, not too bad. Yeah. It's, it's still a dangerous shot, though. You've played this can slow in the red drops, you're stuck on the side cushion with nothing. That's true. That's true. Although we said how difficult it is to get the red to drop. And that's a nice shot. He's played, he's played it half yeah. yeah. He's played it to, to move the balls a little bit. But to tell from our angle if he's sneaking off this thing or is it it's a pot is visible. He probably wants to pot. Mm. Okay, this is missing. Oh. Gee, we're getting a lot of oh. balls right today, aren't we? <laughs> What's happening here? We're usually wrong. Uncanny. Uncanny. Uh, looks like Steve's going to have to plant yellow onto the red. Yes. It's, it's more, one of the more simple ones where you can control where the yellow's going. He's got to get a bit of power into it to, unless he rolls through for the cross red loser. Huh? But then oh. his risks get tangled up. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I would have played Peter. the yellow under the red all day, wouldn't you? Peter can't believe you. Yeah. Now, is this one missable? No, this one is not missable. Peter's gasp was about seven seconds after mine because he's watching Facebook and I'm watching the monitor. <laughs> oh, right, okay. I'm watching the, I'm the little <laughs> delayed feed, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Oh, I gasped, and then seven seconds later you gasped. Oh, okay. Thank you. So Peter's back in front. So Jason Teo as well. Like a fair bit. <clears throat> Jason saying, "Come on, Peter!" And the Australian uh, Australian viewers are saying, "Come on, Steve." Jason T.O. is a good mate of uh, Peter's. Yep. One of our regular drinking buddies. But Steve Abay is watching. G'day Steve. How long left? He's asking. How long left? That's an excellent question. 10 minutes 34 seconds. True. Get that you know, right up into play. He has. You might want options. Whoever wins, I can tell you that they are going to be a gentleman because these two guys are two of the finest gentlemen in the game. Yes, true. Ne never heard a bad word from either of them or about either of them. Ferocious mm, competitors. Finished but, awkward. But, uh, it's just the time where you don't want to have to play along with them. You don't want that. Oh, Jeff, anybody who's going to play along with you want Peter to play it, wouldn't you? Yeah. It was nicely played. Nice little half ball in off. Put the white next to the red now. Not behind oh. it, next to it. <laughs> Skinny, nervy. We'll flick cannon, but. Yeah, does it leave the red over the middle? Play that with drag, it's just too dangerous to play that really soft. Yep. Yeah. Little stun cannon here, you can gather these. 8 minutes 50. Easily overstunned on these cloths, but uh, Peter should control this beautiful. 
played a little check side. I think he played it thin too, so it's not mm. too overstone, but he thinned it up pretty straight on the white. Maybe I'll run through this. Well, he just got the in off the red if he can get him off it. I don't think that's his issue. Now, the other thing that he can do with eight minutes left and a 30 point lead is pot up on a double walk. He may play screw back, screw back red to white, living in us, hopefully living in us the white. That makes sense. Puts the red out of the corner there. the wrong side of the white. It's hard to tell thing. from our angle. It doesn't look like a natural enough white in the middle. And it looks very thin to make a white push in red can. You can see the red to it. He can. Nice. He did. Now he's got exactly the spot you showed us in yes. practice the other day. Do you play this one cushion, two cushions? So you tell us how Peter plays this. He plays this three cushions. Well, he, I don't think, I don't know whether you play the attacking way. He plays this thin on the white with a ton of running side to bring the white two down cushions. behind the spot and get in behind the red. Yes. What you want to do is push the red towards the other middle pocket right. and end up with the pot red in the middle and the white behind the spot. So thin off the red with running side, thin off, two the, with, thin off the white yeah, with running side, running side. two that's, cushions. But that's his attacking move, and I don't know whether that's what he's doing now. Oh, no, standard move. Oh, yeah. So he's, he's played that a safer way. Yeah. Really when the red's a bit further out on the table that he plays that other shot. Mm. Six minutes, 51. 32 points in it. Enough time for a hundred break, so we still have a live match. David, one four sevens after Peter practice at Russell. Yes, he does. Great to have him uh, playing here. For those of you who don't know, Rosser stands for the Ronnie O'Sullivan Snooker Academy. Look, he's got a. Being in off the red in the middle or a gentle forcer off the white in the top pocket. Just deciding which one of those two mm -hmm. we go to. Just be killing off the white. Hope you just just a gentle That's worked yeah, out now very nicely. Very, now very looking nice. dangerous for Steve. Yeah. What's the, <laughs> your resolution is poor. Your resolution must be very poor, Chris. The score is 346 to Peter Gilchrist, 308 to Steve Nifson. Yeah, this Peter's experience should show him. Should do. He's got a pretty good idea usually of you know, how much time is left, how... Uh, yeah. How many points he can score, how far ahead he needs to be by a certain time. I mean, I think... It's gone too far there. I think it would be a happy result for everyone to have Peter win the Singapore Open. Yes. And he's been the Singapore Sportsman of the Year here, what, four times? Something like that. Um, he's uh, an icon. He's, uh, now there's the Peter's... Um, experience showing he yes. could have tried to keep top he could have played red yep. push and white he just played the safe one little stun get a nice drop on the red yep so this would be a very popular win and it would vindicate peter's position as a leading sportsman in singapore yep. uh, so i think it's important to him as well well he he lost the sportsman well not lost but he didn't win the sportsman of the year this year he you had a bit of a lean everyone. year you can't win everything Singaporeans, forgive me my pronunciation, Lo Kian or Lo Kian or something, a badminton player, now world number okay. three. Okay. Uh, sportsman of the year this year. That's great. And Aloysius Yap, the pool player, was in contention. Yeah. He's they say Aloysius, not Aloysius. They do say Aloysius here. Yeah. yeah. And I said that we pronounce it Aloysius, they said the why. <laughs> um, fair enough. 
Yeah, it doesn't it look like that. It doesn't look like yeah. that. Wishes, does it? I see a little cannon white to red here. Why would you play a long loser in the red when you don't have to? The lead is now 56. How long, Peter? Three minutes, 22. He's nearly got enough. Three minutes even. And exactly 60 ahead. Peter needs for Steve to win. Peter needs to miss now. Leave something. Now, I guarantee you what he did there was not gamesmanship. No, no, Lining no, up no, one no, shot no, he doesn't do and that. then changing. No, he doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. You have a look at the enough white sort of, no, this is safe. But you will get, that's what some players do in a tight time finish. No, no, I've seen Line up one I don't shot, like it, but with the Peter, I've never known yeah. Peter to do that. No, Peter doesn't do that. I think he's safe now. Peter Gilchrist is going to be the uh, Singapore, the straight speed at Singapore Open Business Champion. And, uh, and I, I think Steve will be delighted to have been runner up to yeah. the great man. As I said, two of the yeah. nicest guys in the game. Darren, John, Chris, if you're still down in the bar, Peter might be paying for my beer. Peter Gilchrist? Yes. I hope so, because I'm certainly not. Yes, if you could set up an account with Peter's name, I don't really appreciate it. <laughs> well, it's been a very good tournament. It's been a wonderful tournament. Ten, wonderful ten tournament. players made 100 breaks. The first ever appearance by a Nigerian player in a World Billiards event. Fantastic. Christopher. Five players from New Zealand. It's a record for our tournaments, apart from when they're in New Zealand, of course. Yes, yes. And a whole bunch of Singaporeans have had their first experience of playing in a uh, sort of international feel ranking event. Mm -hmm. But a very small event here in 2018. Only a few got to play. But this has been a full-scale event and we've got a good, strong contingent of Singaporeans in the World Championship, so it'll be a great experience for them. Yep, they're doing really well. We're Mr. to Dan Lynch from Cuball TV. Hey, Dan. Shaya Patel, absolutely, I it's agree correct. with you. Never seen any of those gentlemen waste time or enter into games and ship. That was a clever shield he played to use the jaws then. Thanks everyone for watching. Please join us Tuesday afternoon Singapore time for some uh, knockout rounds of the World Championship. Thank you one and all signing off.